I call the Planning Commission meeting for July 3rd, 2024 to order. We'll begin with the pledge. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Jackie, we call the roll. Mr. Tiedemann? Here. Mr. Varga? Excused. Mr. Crocker? Here. Mr. Haddon? Here. Mr. Perkovich? Here. Mr. Rossetti? Here. Mr. Cook? Here. I'll entertain a motion for the approval of the minutes of the regular meeting June 13th, 2024. So moved. Second. Jackie, please call the roll. Mr. Tiedemann? Yes. Mr. Crocker? Yes. Mr. Haddon? Yes. Mr. Perkovich? Yes. Mr. Rossetti? I'm saying. Mr. Cook? Yes. On tonight's agenda, we have four public hearings and we will follow this format. <clears throat> First, the applicant will have the opportunity to explain what they would like to do at a particular location. Second, anyone which is wishing to speak in favor of this proposal will be given the opportunity. Also, anyone wishing to speak in opposition will be afforded a time to do so, or some people may just have questions and we will try to get, this, get those answers. And with that, we have a conditional use permit to allow a recreational facility Wilson's Karate and Fitness Studio at 9107 Menor Avenue. Is that applicant here? Nope. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, we'll give it, maybe keep, yeah. it, keep it on there. We'll keep it on there. Okay, we're going to move on to a conditional use permit to allow a child daycare <laughs> at 9055 Menor Avenue. Is that applicant here? Please come up, give us your name and address. Tell us a little bit about what you want to do. Yeah, come on up to the mic and. Good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Katrero Willis. I am currently the owner of Here We Grow Early Learning Center in Willowick, Ohio. Um, I am a five-star rated facility. I'm looking to ex expand to hopefully your city. Um, to open up another quality program um, in the state. Um, I just feel like the, this, this program will be licensed for infants <coughs> through uh, school age. Um, and I do feel like the city could use another child care facility to give a lot of families in the area more quality care. Um, my current program is an inclusion program that does take special needs children. We are licensed for that as well. Um, so that is another thing that I feel like is lacked in the child care community, um, just having those additional resources for also uh, serving special needs children. Thank you. Is there anybody wishing to speak for this proposal? Anybody wishing to speak against this proposal? This public hearing is closed. Kathy, anything from the administration? Uh, just to clarify for, for the board, uh, this is the uh, location where the Mentor Child Care Academy was located in which you approved a conditional use permit in April of 2021. It was formerly a restaurant prior to that. So it's been vacant for a little bit of time. It didn't work out, and so now we have another child care coming in. Thank you. Anything from the commission members? With that, I'll entertain a motion. Motion to approve with the seven conditions. Second. Jackie, please call the roll. Mr. Tiedemann? Yes. Mr. Crocker? Yes. Mr. Haddon? Yes. Mr. Perkovich? Yes. Mr. Rossetti? Yes. Mr. Cook? Yes. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. We have a conditional use permit to allow outdoor dining and or drinking federales at 8787 Menor Avenue. Is that applicant here? Give us your name and address. Tell us a little bit about what you want to do, and we're just going to talk about the outdoor dining or drinking right now, and okay. we'll kind of go through them all as, as, as we see fit. Well, my name is Bill Thompson. I'm with Federale Street Tacos. Um, and what we want to utilize is uh, we purchase the old DQ or we lease the old DQ. And there's a uh, patio area, cement patio area that we'd like to have uh, picnic type, um, steel round picnic type benches so people can take their meals outside and enjoy their meals outside and a beverage outside. That's all. That's Thank you. Is yes. there anybody wishing to speak for this proposal? <clears throat> anybody wishing to speak against this proposal? Please come up. Give us your name and address. This one over here. If you could just oh, sit down sure. just for a few minutes. Are you...
Hi, my name is Bill Linsky. I live right behind um, the old Dairy Queen. Um, I'm not necessarily against it. I just have a lot of questions okay. as far as is there going to be alcohol? Is that? Go ahead and just, just go ahead and ask us the question. We'll get you okay. the answers. Yeah. I want to know if there's going to be alcohol and uh, how long they're going to serve this, if there's going to be any live music. Um, we're against any live music, any piped in music. It's going to have to be to a minimum. Uh, drive through speaker, even with uh, Dairy Queen, we, the last couple of years, the outdoor speaker was way too loud and it faces right towards our houses. Um, and the patio, as long as it's up front, I'm, we're, hundred percent I mean I'll, I'm all for small business and let's you know keep the economy going um, if it's food only or food and drink how late the, they'll be serving uh, and what kind of if if they are going to serve alcohol is it a full bar or is it just beer and wine and uh, the hours we're just we're just concerned we've got grandkids that stay with us and on, on occasion and we don't want them disturbed or wakened because of you know a lot of going on out there um, is there anything else I missed that's about it so again I'm not oh, no, I, I'm okay. not speaking I against I just had a lot of questions thank you thank you is there a Nicholas here? Okay. Anybody else wishing to speak against this proposal? This public hearing is closed. Let's get some answers here. Okay. The no. alcohol, live music, patio, how late, full bar, hours. Okay. <laughs> Generally, we'll be open. Let's let's address alcohol. Okay. We do not have a liquor permit, so we do not have um, the capability to serve alcohol. Um, as far as the, and I know this will be addressed later in, for the drive through usage, the drive through is strictly going to be more of a takeout window. We're not going to be having a menu board where you order. It's basically a digital type kitchen, kind of like a Chipotle, Piata, where you'll just be picking up your meal through a drive through So you're not going to have that loudspeaker issue, okay? Um, live music, we generally do not do live music whatsoever. Now, sometimes they'll pipe in a little bit of music on a speaker out on the patio, um, and we are very, very cautious about that, and we'll keep it to a minimum so it does not disturb you. As far as hours, we are not um, a late-type restaurant. Um, we're generally open from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. during the week and 10.30 on the weekends. Um, sometimes on a Friday, Saturday, we might push it to 11, um, but you're not going to see us open until 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning causing a ruckus and stuff of that nature. So I, I, did I address everything for you, sir? Yeah, I'm going to try to. Kathy, do you have anything as well on the patio well, and live music while we're on it? Well, so for the patio, we've conditioned no live music on the patio, so that's one item. Um, and, and, and with any kind of music that's, you know, with a small, with a speaker, um, they'd have to abide by any, no, our noise, our noise ordinance. Um, and then as far as the menu board goes, so you'll be removing the menu board that's out there now, will, or will that be because it's just a pickup window? It'll just be a pickup window. We're not actually having where you pull up to the speaker and order. We don't honestly know how we could even quarterback that, you know, or, you know, put that in. You know, we're a fast-paced kind of, like I said, a Chipotle Piata style. Um, we're not going to be really in the position for somebody to come up there and order a burrito with 14 different things on it and be able to get it in a timely fashion through. So what does somebody that, order on an app or yeah, something like that? Yeah, it'll be an app. It'll be an app based, kind of like a digital kitchen type thing. Okay. And all people order takeout on our um, websites, and they can use that as a pickup window. Okay. Um, also, it'll also help with the um, traffic a little bit. You know, all the delivery platforms, dashers and stuff, will we'll regulate, um, you know, the delivery platforms to pick up at that window so they're not – 
parked out front, you know, holding outside, waiting for it to pick up food. The, we'll utilize that window as a takeout pickup. Okay. Thank you. And I do remember that Dairy Queen. And that speaker was like screaming loud. Yeah. I do know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> now that you brought it up, I remember that. So, Kathy, anything else from the administration? I know I just have to vote on each one individually. Yeah, we're going to go on the outdoor, din outdoor dining or drinking. Anything from the commission members? Mr. Chairman. Um, since we mentioned the any music adhering to the mentor's noise ordinance, should that be a condition as well, or is that just inherent? You can make it a condition. We've done it before. It's also a regulation, but if you want to add it as a condition, it's you a regulation. Can. I think that's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anything else? With that, I'll entertain a motion. Motion to approve with the three conditions. Is it three or? One. You doing the drive-through drive first? first? Yeah, just the oh, drive-through. Drive sorry. Yeah. I'll second. Jackie, please call the roll. Mr. Tiedemann? Yes. Mr. Crocker? <clears throat> yes. Mr. Haddon? Yes. Mr. Perkovich? Yes. Mr. Rossetti? Yes. Mr. Cook? Yes. We have a conditional use permit to allow a drive-through facility, Federalis, at 8787 Manor Avenue. I know you spoke a little bit about it. Could you tell us a little bit more? Or yeah, and again, it, it's uh, not a traditional drive-through with a menu First board thing. and stuff. Mm -hmm. And again, it, it's going to be very hard for us to to handle that type of business yeah. where people pull up and order. I'm sorry, know, hold on, hold on one sec. Kathy, what happened here? <laughs> Well, I think we thought we were doing the drive-through first because it was the first condition on the oh, staff yeah, report. We just voted on the drive-through. But, but, it, it you were going in the order of the agenda, which was correct. <laughs> but the the number of conditions was was clarified in the first motion. So I just want to make sure that that's clear for the record. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're on drive-through. Okay. We're good. There we go. And it, again, right. it's the, the same as I said before. It's more of a pickup window as opposed to a traditional drive through. Um, so I, I believe it actually will be more, more efficient for you because of the fact people aren't standing outside and as far as traffic and everything like that, you know, lined up, you know, into the streets trying to get food. Um, they could just go ahead and order online, drive through the takeout, pick up, and go. And again, it'll be very beneficial. Um, everybody, their dashers and Ubers and, mm -hmm. and everything's there. It'll be more beneficial to that as well to control that traffic as well. Thank you. Is there anybody wishing to speak for this proposal? Anybody wishing to speak against this proposal? This public hearing is closed. Kathy, anything from the administration? Uh, nothing other than the condition noted. Anything from the commission members on the drive through? Mr. Chairman. Dave. The uh, question was asked before when we were out of order about the um, is the existing menu board from the Dairy Queen going to be removed? Yes, well, we'll need to remove that then. Yes. Okay, I recommend we amend this uh, condition to state that. Yeah, go ahead. Honey. I have pictures of the outside the building. I believe it's already been removed. It's already been removed. Dairy Queen pretty much cleaned house. They took. Yeah, the only thing that's okay. There hold on, you got to you itself. got to give us your name and address oh, if you're going to say. Yeah. Cindy Thompson. Okay. Uh, Twenty seventh and Northland Street in Cuyahoga Falls. Okay. Um, Bill's wife. Okay. And um, I took pictures of the outside of the building, and the menu board is not there. Okay. Well, there we go. Oh, Thank mm -hmm. you. Absolutely. Anything else? Uh, With the. Mr. Chairman, one more question. Uh, because it's not a drive-through in, in the traditional use of a drive-through, are you going to place signage to direct the people who are picking up their orders to that side of the building? Um, we will probably ask to hang a pickup window sign over the pickup window. I don't. There are signage out front of the building um, on the sidewalk where there is an enter and an exit sign. Um, I don't know if that'll be utilized or not. We haven't got that far as signage yet um, with the commission. Where we're going to be working on that next um, and proposing signage for the location through fast signs. Um, but I would imagine it'd be beneficial if we did have something to direct people. So, Kathy, would there be restrictions on any signage that would be placed then? Yeah, well, signage would be regulated separately on a, on a sign permit. As signs that are not viewable from the right of way, we don't necessarily permit, which are common for this type of facility. So, no other questions. Thank you. Is there anything else? 
With that, I'll entertain a motion. Motion to approve with the one condition. Second. Second. Jackie, please call the roll. Mr. Tiedemann? Yes. Mr. Crocker? Yes. Mr. Haddon? Yes. Mr. Perkovich? Yes. Mr. Rossetti? Yes. Mr. Cook? Yes. And now under new business, we have an architectural re-image of a commercial building, Federales, at 8787 Manor Avenue. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what it's going to look like? Um, yeah, so we'd like to paint the building and put a fresh coat of paint. We go more of a you know, contemporary style, modern style um, colors, um, which will be like a, an auxiliary type gray on the front of the building, and then paint out the red roof. We'd like a, a light, lighter blue, off blue on the roof, um, just to make it look a, a lot more appealing um, from the street as opposed to that bright red roof that's on there now and uh, the white brick and everything. So we just like to bring it into more modern looking colors that we try to achieve. And I, I believe you guys have color swats of the colors. Thank you, Kathy. Anything from the administration? Just to clarify, there, the two colors that were submitted were artillery. Yes which is the dark gray, and then gray shadows, which is the light gray. You said off blue, and I guess that threw me off. So okay, want to make sure and that I, we're... And I apologize. I, those are the correct colors. Yeah, those though. are the correct okay. colors. I, I apologize. Okay. I have five other projects going right now. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was, I'm the operations manager. We had just opened two other federales as well. So. Thank you. Anything from the commission members? Mr. Chairman? Dave. Uh, I'm a little confused by the drawings that were submitted. Is they still reflect Dairy Queen? In yes. The, is was that are these the incorrect drawings or? Well, I to be honest, I, I we didn't want to do complete architectural drawings because we're just changing the color. Okay. And for me to obtain um, pure architectural drawings, it, it's just so far out of budget. So what I utilized is I utilized the Dairy Queen drawings, and I submitted where the colors are going to be changed at on that drawing and submitted it as such that way. Okay, so other than the repainting of the building, you're not changing the overall look and appearance of the building? No, sir. Okay. Yeah. And right. the Dairy Queen signs are gone. And the Dairy Queen signs are gone. <laughs> Thank you. No other question. Anything else? Mr. Chairman. Mr. Clark. Um, is the brick right now currently painted, or is this the first time it well, will be Well, the stone up front, yeah. Um, it's not painted, and that will not be painted. Okay. We really like that stone look that mm -hmm. kind of falls into the modernization of the restaurant. Um, but the brick is currently painted, as well as the trim around the windows is currently painted. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anything else? With that, I'll entertain a motion. Motion to approve with the one condition. Second. Jackie, please call the roll. Mr. Tiedemann? Yes. Mr. Crocker? Yes. Mr. Haddon? Yes. Mr. Perkovich? Yes. Mr. Rossetti? Yes. Mr. Cook? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So did the karate guy come in? Looks like we're going to have to table this. Um, motion to table um, the first conditional use permit. Second. Jackie, please call the roll. Mr. Tiedemann? Yes. Mr. Crocker? Yes. Mr. Haddon? Yes. Mr. Perkovich? Yes. Mr. Rossetti? Yes. Mr. Cook? Yes. And Kathy, anything from the administration? Uh, nothing else. Happy 4th. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. No move.